Ashton, how are you? I'm good, Randa. How are you? Good. So Ashton, we're going to get straight into it. Um, uh, so to start off with, thank you so much for a, giving us your time. Um, we're here today to very quickly talk about this um, uh, pilot life coaching program um, that we are launching. Um, and you've been so generous with your time. Um, um, and we are so grateful that you are giving us your knowledge and expertise in delivering this piece of exciting um, knowledge. So um, I want to say very quickly something about you so everybody knows uh, who you are. So um, Ashton, you are a life coach and a mentor. Um, you are a visionary entrepreneur. Uh, you have extensive professional experience um, in the real, real estate world. Um, and you've worked uh, with uh, multiple organizations um, in different continents, Europe and the Middle East. Currently, you are um, uh, working as a business partner with the Prince's Trust, which is a, a charity established by Prince Charles, um, the Prince of Wales. Um, you're passionate about empowering individuals, communities and organizations, which is why um, you are here with us uh, and uh, giving us your precious time. Um, you've traveled around Africa, Globetrotter, um, you've traveled around other continents, but in Africa, you multiple uh, uh, countries, including South Sudan, which is where Sudan comes in into your life. Um, so <laughs> we've had some interesting conversations about Sudan people. Uh, popping up in your life through meeting different people. Um, you are currently uh, uh, studying a, a, a Bachelor of Science in Psychology and you have a diploma in life coaching and the list goes on. This is just a snapshot uh, of your profile. So really impressive young guy, um, truly uh, a, a person that I think young people can look up to and be inspired by. Um, and we're so excited to have you know you come along this journey with us and help us deliver this program so without further ado uh, i'm going to sit back quietly and let you explain to me the sort of things that a young person who participates in this, this life coaching program is going to expect to uh, learn um, and, and and experience thank you Randall. so over to you thank you thank you for in introduction so i'll go through the slides there's 17 slides all together so this program is called Aduce, Awakening Your Potential. And uh, you've introduced me already, but I'll go through it again. So correct, I am a life coach, child counsellor, mentor, TA. So I worked in a school in West London for, um, with children who've been expelled from mainstream education. So we had to find other ways of them learning, not just the core subjects, mass English science, but other ways to work on their personal development. And that's how I collaborated with the, the Prince Charles um, mental health aid, aid instructor also with the Mental Health uh, First Aid England and 11 years in real estate in London and Dubai. Um, you know, when we think about sales or real estate, we normally think about just doing deals or opening and closing doors, but there's more to it. You're meeting new people every day. You're finding out what they want, their reality, their options, their needs, their motivations and how to move forward. It's the same psychological approach we take in coaching. We all have a goal in mind. We all have to see our reality, look at our options, and then we can move forward. Sometimes without following that grow model, we can be a bit chaotic and get lost and things can go around in circles. So it's really important that we follow this. And I've understood this the psychological approach. Um, so more about what is, what is life coaching? So we explore the present, we create the future, and then we define our steps between. So it's again what I said, we just look at where we wanna be in life, where we are now, and the steps we can take are moving forward. So we help people become their better selves by understanding their values. Our values is very important because that's what brings us together, it also which separates us, and it helps us understand how we're gonna to get to where we need to go. So I believe with the right mindset, everything is possible, but we have to be willing to change our mindset and have a clear goal so we can move forward. A negative mindset, we don't achieve much. So it's always good to have a positive mindset to understand what do we want? And that's the first question I always ask, what is your goal? So what coaching is not mentoring, counseling, giving advice or therapy. It's quite a new industry, it's big in the US, it's coming to Europe, but not there yet. Um, and it's the same around Africa and Asia. So many people ask those questions, is it mentoring, is it counseling, is it giving advice, therapy, it's nothing to do with that. 
It's really putting you at the center of your universe and seeing how you see the world and how you want to move forward. And that's all that we really work on. So educe is a Latin word for awakening your potential. Um, it means to bring out and develop. That's what the word means. So I've called a program after that, educe. So what we do, the methods, we explore, I observe, you have options, you, have, you move forward. Similar to the GROW model, what I spoke about before. So it's really important that we understand everything and we look at our obstacles and understand strategies of how to overcome things and move forward. The three stages to reduce, we do self-discovery, self-worth, and then the ideal self. So we have to look at where we are currently, and then we look at our values and our goals for the self-worth, and then our ideal self, where we bridge everything together. So we take all the goodness you can say outside of you, inside of you, sorry, we look at all the qualities, things, questions you never maybe asked yourself, things that you've never been told, and then we look at it in terms of value, in terms of all the, you know, putting it together with your goals, matching it all, then we we bridge it to say, okay, well, this is your mission now. This is what you have to do. So the foundations of Aduce, it's a holistic approach. Um, many counselors in the UK um, and psychologists uh, follow the, the framework of Carl Rogers and Abraham Maslow, where we look at all individuals have the capacity to overcome their own problems and challenges in life by just reflecting on their experiences. You know, the closer we come to our self-image and our ideal self, the more congruent we are to our self-worth. So the more we match who we are to where we want to go and we understand it, the more chance we can really excel in life. Um, Carl Rogers, the um, American psychologist, as well as Abraham Maslow, uh, Carl Rogers believed that every, uh, every person can achieve their goals, wishes, and desires in life with openness, empathy, and positive regard. And that's what myself and Anna Sedana will be giving all the young people that we work with. So this is, maybe you're familiar with this pyramid. Um, for, you, for those of you that are not, this is Abraham Maslow, a hierarchy of needs. And then you can see this is our, I mean, we'd never meet 100% of everything, but this is the, the ladder that we climb, you can say, to get to our self-actualize. And we go through this, you know, to see where we are, where are we stuck? You know, is it love and belonging? Have, is there a sense of rejection maybe? But we work through that. We work onto your confidence. And then it's for you to really get to the last peak of just knowing your purpose, really, and what you want to do. So self-discovery. So what we do in self-discovery, who am I? Which is the most important question I think we all need to ask ourselves. Who am I? Like, why am I here? Um, you know, if I say, tell me something about you, you know, there's more to you than just your name and your age and your nationality. So we really want to find out who you are, who inspires you. We all have role models or someone that we go, wow, you know, I wish I was like him or wish I was like her. It could be a relative. It could be someone who's famous. But there's something in someone else that you really like. So we're going to look at that and why that's important to you. Uh, so why do they inspire me? Same thing. Why is it important to me? And then we just go around to how would I like to be remembered? So, you know, once we look at the long goal that you see in people, then we can see, OK, well, how does that apply to me? And we go through your self-worth. So we look at your goals. The most important part, many people get excited about this. You get a chance to really write down all the things you want to do in life. So we do some goal setting. And that's a process within itself. And then we look at your obstacles. Once we filter down your goals, we look at the obstacles that you may face and how we're going to overcome those obstacles. And the most important question is, is the why. We can do many things in life, but I'm not understanding the why you know, it makes it meaningful in the end. We have to understand what's the real reason why I want to achieve these goals. It could be financial, it could be family, it could just be whatever your goal, your why is, and that's what's going to be your, your driving force. And then while we're doing, working through your goals, we're going to look at your, your values. And that puts things a bit more into perspective of how, what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve your goals with watch values. And then we look at some problem solving or things that might be holding you back, or people or other situations out of your control might be holding you back. It's a good exercise always to do that because there's always going to be things around us which are distractions. And then the ideal self, where we bridge it together. So we do like a mission statement. So we have got really want to clarify how you see yourself living with your goals. Understand all your gifts, all those things that you've got inside of you that are really great that you, you haven't really shared or you don't know how to share. And then a mission statement to really understand what your mission in life is, what you want to do, and then to get a very clear picture on your vision. What can you see long term? Your mission is what you're going to 
do maybe in the next five years or next year or so but the vision what do you really see long term you want to come from your mission and then you know we conclude with your purpose so we just find out like who are you you know what what what's, what's all this for you know again you can we bridge this and we connect this with your legacy we connect this with all the work you've done so there is a process to this and it's important that all the process is done to get to this stage because this stage might seem a bit confusing if the work's not done before so who benefits from Meduse? Individuals going through transition in life or career. So there is no age gap for it. We all go through transitions. We might be moving to a new city, new country, leaving studies, maybe university or college, going, changing jobs. We all evolve and go through different changes in life. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are. It's just the transition that we go through. Um, so individuals who want clarity on the future and need support with their planning. So obviously it's very important to have a plan, get clarity and just get sometimes a different perspective. And that's what really coaching is, is just getting a different perspective and looking at our options that I spoke about before. And last but not least, individuals that want to reach their full potential and maximize their performance. So it's really to be the best you can be. You know, imagine like an athlete, a footballer, he trains probably or she trains Monday to Friday and they play on Saturdays. You know, in the UK, they train twice a day. They work hard to get the best out of who they are and their team and to be the best they can be. And that's the same with you. So you take the same attitude to yourself as an athlete does with his sport or her sport. Thank you. Thanks so much, Aston. That was really good. I, every time we talk about the program or what, you know, the different elements of it, I, I always get really excited. And I told you this, that I actually would like to get to do this program myself. Yeah. Um, so I think I've got a few frequently asked questions. Um, so if we jump straight into them. Um, so one of the very first questions I've had is, um, so what is the benefit of life coaching? And I think you've answered that. I'm going to leave this and I'll come back to it in a, in a little bit, but who should be taking part in our life coaching program? So that's a question I'm asked often. Well, for this pilot, we'll, we, we were going to do with regards to like an age range, age range. So everyone's going to be at the same place in terms of their learning development and where they are in life. So roughly between 18 and 25 years old, um, that's the age range we're kind of aiming for for this. So everyone can be in sync. And everyone has an opportunity to share their ideas and maybe meet up and maybe they study together. Maybe they have mutual friends. So it gives an opportunity to really bridge people together. Hmm. Uh, and, and I think we also talked about um, there is no limit to life coaching because clearly I'm not 18. <laughs> but we did say that uh, and you, you explained that quite nicely yesterday that with the, um, uh, the more uh, experienced um, of us in our career, for example, um, you know, you see individual life coaching is more appropriate. And actually there are a couple of people that we're going to proceed and, and work with uh, on the one-to-one -one basis. So anybody basically should not stop at, oh, I'm, I'm too old for this. Everybody should approach this program uh, or similar program to go on this journey of discovery. Exactly. I mean, there's, there's no age limit in terms of new ideas there's no age limit to becoming a better person that's just a mindset you know if you believe that you could be 18 and believe that you know you might have someone who's 65 who says i'm not giving up it's like we spoke about yesterday i think the owner of kfc only got famous or came to his success when he was 65 so it doesn't it, there's no age limit to success that's not in the blueprint it's just your mindset and your willpower and your attitudes Okay, great. And I would actually, I have to say, I would even encourage the older guys of us to come come through and really seek this type of, uh, of um, program, because I think there is more, more likelihood of, you know, us who have progressed in our career to kind of get to a point where we feel a little bit stuck. So it, it's, it's a readjustment that I think will be quite beneficial to just readjust have a new set of goals in life, you know, and just rejuvenate really. And I think it will be quite exciting. You give someone a bit of excitement. Yeah. Okay. So the next question then um, is, well, how long would someone expect the program to last a program like this? It, it, it depends how much you want to put in. You know, we all have different learning styles. 
and some of us need more attention some of us need less attention um and that's not a good or bad thing it's just our way of learning i mean i've worked in a school with different types of learning learning uh, different types of children with different learning needs and it doesn't matter as long as you're working so you know someone might you know you know cruise through it in maybe 10 sessions and nail it and just be on the go and there might be someone who needs a bit more support and help that might need 12 13 sessions for example but it, there is no rule as long as you're working and you give a positive attitude then you can get one back if you turn up 50 50 you're going to get 50 50 back because if you're not willing to do it then it's about you you know we're not doing it for you i don't have the answers um you know i always say to people that you know you're the driver i'm the passenger it's 90% you 10% me so you have to understand that when you come to the session that this is for me referring to you as an individual not for me as the coach and then always keep that at the core of all your decision making in life because then you will move forward with it hmm. and i think for me that's reassuring um although it's a group uh program but there is that focal focus on individual needs and i think that that would be actually great because we do learn at different paces we have varying needs you know and demands and i think that would definitely reassure me that even if I need to stay a little longer and work a little longer in an area that I have the space available to do that uh, and not just rush through something that it almost becomes a tick box exercise. It really is something that you take part in and, and, and you come out the other side different, thinking differently about certain things. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing is um, uh, I'm asked, uh, will participants be required to complete any pre-work as in pre-session work? At the end of every session, we're going to send you off with some work to do. It's not going to be, I mean, we're not teachers here. This is not school. There'll be something that we've discussed and then there'll be something that you would probably do within the session, but we'd ask you maybe just to write it down. Mm -hmm. It's that time alone where you put your thoughts down on paper, where you're going to have your moments. It's not going to be necessarily on the call. And that's why I say it's 90% you. It's for you to really reflect. It's not for you really just to find your aha moments and, say wow this is what i want to do it's really teaching you a way of i mean these are life skills you're going to learn so when you do become a, a ceo or wherever you end up in your career you're going to understand okay well this is where i am i understand from this core vast and this is what we've done last time so i can do it again so it's those moments alone that you work and you put aside maybe 45 minutes it's not like it's a lot of time and then you just put you know your pen to paper you gather your thoughts and you express yourself and you just really kind of plan everything and that will develop your planning skills and you know your creativity mm -hmm. okay so the next question is how would uh what would be required of participants besides you know be putting in the time to do any pre-work what else would you expect from participants i i expect everyone to have an open mind to be positive because it's about them so if you're negative you're going to be negative to yourself so always be come energized, come ready, come to learn, come to listen, come to network. You know, I always, you know, when I do things in life, I always say, "What well, has it benefit me?" And that's not a selfish thing. I just want to understand how can I maximize my time in this environment with that person. So you might meet people there that you become friends for life with. You might meet people that you become a business partner with. You know, networking is about sharing ideas. So I'd want you to really use the people in the group and talk to each other. And I would really want you to just show up with a positive attitude on time. Um, that's important. So please turn up five, 10 minutes early um, and just, you know, give, give all you got. Or if you don't want to talk, just listen and em embrace it. And if you have emails or something you want to talk about at a separate time, you can always, you know, get in contact and we can look at some things like that. Mm -hmm. And um, then the next thing that I wanted to add on top of that is being committed. So, so even if there is a, a, a day when um, someone cannot attend, because we do have very poor internet, for, for example, at the moment in Sudan, there are some electricity cuts. If, if there is an extenuating circumstance, obviously, you know, this, this is not school. So if someone needs to um, decline attending, they need to just be forward, be open, communicate in advance, and we will work with them to either report the session, make sure that their learning is not interrupted, basically. But that starts with them committing, being open, and communicate, being communicative. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, if, if there's any issues, just send an email and be, like you said, just be direct and honest with us. Um, mm -hmm. And then maybe we can record the session so they can watch it another time. 
Yeah, yeah. And 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 we, we are not oblivious. We understand that at the moment in Sudan there is this issue with the internet, but it's it's the effort put in to try and, and participate is most important. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the next uh, question that I have um, is um, there is a participant who asked me, well, what would you, how would I contribute to be in a future program. So, so this is a pilot. Well, what's my participation? How is that going to translate into a future program? Well, this is about you. So, you know, when we get to the goal settings, your goal will be different from everyone else's goal. So I'm not going to say, hey, guys, let's all go together and do one thing because one person might want to be a scientist, one might want to be a lawyer, one might want to be an artist. You're not going to have the same goal. So I'm not going to say, unless you all guys came up with an idea and said, let's do this whole thing for the community, we can look, we can address that then. But your goals are going to be different. Um, and you might not be, some of you might not even want to work with other people. You might just be like, okay, well, I'm focused, I'm disciplined. Or you might not, you know, we're, we're all individuals on this call. So when we get to the goal settings, what your contribution is, is what you put in. So if you say, this is what I want to do, and you're, you're honest and you turn up on time, then we can help you with that. Um, but just be mindful of who is in the group, that people will have different point of view that, um, from you. Um, and not everyone shares the same ideas or have the same approach. So that's your, what your contribution is, is really to understand your goals and ask how to help you. If there are two goals that match, we could have a conversation of maybe, you know, A and B, would you want to come together to work together? Or they're similar, but your goals are different. So we can't group you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'll pick up slightly on that a little later when I talk about how does this program align with Anna Sudan um, and our goals and objectives and our passions. Um, one thing I wanted to add is, um, Ashton, we were talking about the continuation of learning and the um, actual application of the knowledge that is learned. So we were talking about this aftercare service and, and, a, and a, a challenge that, you know, individual uh, participants can choose to uh, take part in. Um, so at the end of the program, we'll agree with them timelines, what sort of challenge they'd like to, to set themselves. And we'll try through our network um, and our professional um, network and, and contacts is give them the right supports moving for, support moving forward. Uh, and then we're looking at, you know, how, how do we then look at furthering that community effort and, and continuing that support throughout the life of this participant, their professional life or their career, uh, their uh, personal life. So, so essentially what we're saying here, you don't just come through this program and then that's it. No, that there is, we intend on follow up, we intend on other programs and, you know, it, it's, it, it's a, um, it's a it's an environment that you become a part of that helps you with your growth because it's a journey you know okay perfect yeah go on. and it's, it's it's you know you'll be you'll be joining a bigger network so if you've done the first pilot then the second pilot will be joining the third pilot so you'll it will naturally just grow and you know after this there will be some things that we would like for you to do to you know we don't say too much now but there'll be some things after that you would you would need to do in order to become a better you know better at whatever you're trying to do so it's not at the end of this pilot is not the end it's just the start mm -hmm. of something else that you can do after mm -hmm. so um a couple of things you mentioned when you are going through the transition slide um and i think that encapsulates you know what is this program um so you said that um life coaching so it's it's around what's the purpose of life, life coaching, for instance? And you said it's about uh, awakening your potential. Uh, it's about helping people become their better selves, which I really like. And then you said it's about creating or applying a positive mindset. And um, it's about identifying really what are your goals. And you know, they, they seem like really easy things and someone might say, oh, it's logical. Actually, it's so difficult to work through that and really apply that in your life. and realize your goals and I think a lot of us need that discipline and we lose it because life is just so complicated and involved and busy and things change all the time mm. so I for me as Renda I, this is exactly the sort of um, basic foundation to, to what we're trying to do in, in Anna Sudan 
So this is where the life coaching aligns with our strategy and goals. So our passion and our focus has been shifted to completely, um, uh, uh, well, to focus, repeat the word again, to focus on leadership and capacity building. Um, because we just suddenly through our activities realized there's a huge need for us to um, focus in that uh, uh, leadership, sort of nurturing leadership and young leadership and really moving away from um, telling young people what we think they need to really start standing back and understanding from them what they need, providing them the space to be creative, providing them the space to be innovative. Because as part of Anna Sudan's overall ambitious uh, dream, Ashton, and I think I shared that with you, we want in the long term um, to place Sudan as a strategic global player in the offshoring service offshoring and production offshoring market. Now we think we've got a, a professional arsenal. Sudan has a huge amount of young people who are clever, who have uh, education or have um, are working in different disciplines. They've got language skills. The country is strategically, strategically placed so um, we want to start to get young people to understand that there is the answer and the power sometimes within themselves as opposed to within somebody else. In order for us to get to this huge ambitious goal, it starts with you know, mobilizing these young people and getting them to really understand their power, getting them to really dream and, and be innovative and create innovative um, businesses because that's the, the, the popping up of small, medium-sized businesses is what's going to lead to the overall success of an economy. Um, but it starts with this individual gaining the confidence to, to go in that journey, you know what I mean? So um, what we want to do through this life coaching program is uh, empower young people and get them to empower other young people with them. So it's a, it's a pyramid that extends a long way yeah because it can't be done with one person sorry go on no 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 i'm listening no, i'm saying <laughs> it, 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 we need to support each other to create this chain reaction um and you know the positive thinking has to be an infectious thing uh, and really to understand the answer no matter how difficult at the moment things may seem in sudan and they are Really, there are a lot of answers within each one of us uh, and definitely lots of answers with, within the young generation. So um, I wanted to just add as to, you know, the guys who are participating in the pilot, as much as we want to induce them with a lot of knowledge and learning from what we know, and we don't have all the answers, but whatever we know, we'll give them. And if there is an answer, we can't give them and, and don't have the answer, something that we don't have the answer for, we will go and, and reach into our wide networks and get the answer. Yeah. Um, but what we want them to do as well is help us in developing the future programs because they are the ones who are going to benefit. They've got the answer. They understand what they need and we will work with them to deliver and, and fulfill their needs, whatever that support may look like. Um, and yeah, I think it's just very exciting and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to starting. We've got a, a, a group of really exciting, I call them young leaders. Uh, I should say, Ashton, um, we need to um, uh, galvanize more young men because in Sudan, young women are a power and they're ready and hungry for learning. And so we need to mobilize some young men as well. <laughs> and get them to participate in these programs. Um, but yes, I, I think it's going to be great. So um, thank you so much. And uh, any last words from you? No, it's just what just concluded what we said before. You know, I know there's distractions in Sudan, but there's distractions around the whole world. So really detach yourself and you off with all your distractions, your social media, and it's a time to just focus on yourself. Mm. You know, we can all say, there's always an excuse we can give for why we can't do something. Um, but there's more reason why we should do it because it benefits us. So just really detach yourself from all of the social issues going on in your environment and the global issues that affect all of us. And just take that time, even more reason, take this time out to just focus on yourself. You owe it to yourself. Uh, you deserve it. Um, and you can make whoever's around you proud as well and become a leader within your own right to influence people that might be next coming up from you. 
So just put yourself in that high position um, and just stay focused. And be part of the solution. Really. Exactly. Be part of the solution. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And uh, we will, uh, you know, catch you later, I suppose, <laughs> until the next session. Thanks, Ashton. Thank you.